Have you ever been sitting in a chair, get up to use the bathroom or whatever, and come back only to find that someone is sitting in your seat? Infuriating, isn't it? What do you even do in a situation like that? Well, Chris Taylor found a surprisingly simple solution. It's the one little secret ushers don't want you to know. Just pull out a gun and shoot the person who took your seat. Of course, Chris is still working out the kinks in this technique, as the fact that he employed this technique at a busy party led to several witnesses. Chris, upon realizing his improper use of this highly technical skill, hauled ass away from the party. But he wasn't home free. Witnesses helped the police identify and locate Chris. Orange County deputies looking for the community's help now to solve a murder that's left two children without a father. Neighbors told the younger brother that Marlon Fryer got into an argument that turned into a shooting and that his brother was not armed. Chris was then brought in for questioning. What follows is his interrogation with the police. But first, a moment of silence for Marlon Fryer, a man whose only wrongdoing was sitting in the wrong chair. I got camels all in Man. Come on, people, what's going on, man? Yo. Oh. What's going on? How you doing? I'm all right, bro. I'm going to check the park with the, uh, with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Okay. Okay. Um, President, it's me. You want my partner right hand to take the seat with me, okay? Oh, yeah. Before we talk to you, I got to read you something, all right? Your constitutional rights. That's, that's, that's proper procedure. All right. So give me a few minutes. Yes, okay. Sir. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Anything you say will be used in court as evidence against you. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. You're not entitled to talk. You you are entitled to talk to an attorney now and have him present now or any time during this questioning. Do you understand? Right. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you without cost. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. Okay. Has anyone, myself or my partner, has we come with you or coerce you to anything for you to speak with me and, and my partner? Oh. Okay. okay. Would you like to talk with us at this time? Yeah, I don't know what's okay. going on. Yeah. Okay. So we're investigating the the death of uh, Marlo. Your, your Marlo, buddy. yeah, I know Marlo. I've y'all been friends, man. I've been known Marlo. Uh, I can't even. Uh, man, I think I've been known Marlo about about a good. Mm, mm, mm. If you had a about a ten or more, you know, ten more years. Yeah, what kind of person he was? Marlo, he was just uh, he was like a real real hype guy. Get on a lot of powder, you know, be poked up, be be smoking all the time, get get drunk, be up like three or four days. Yeah. Where you met him at? Like cross town. Cross town, hanging out cross town. Yeah, like at little parties and stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you knew his family also too? I don't know his family. Have you met his girlfriend? Uh, girlfriend, girlfriend is a friend of my sister. How yeah. Marlo asked when he how he act when he started? Hanging out. Marlo is wild. You know, I, I'm telling you already that that he um he be up for days. So so once he start, there's a lot of them guys over there like that. And once he start getting getting uh getting high and drunk, he just can't stop and all that. He be, be up all night from party to party. You know what I mean? Yeah. For well, y'all to be praying that long, that means y'all yeah pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He Marlo, had your phone number. You had his phone number. No, we never had no numbers. Uh, How often would y'all see each other? Marlo, probably about, like, close, close to, like, when he get paid or something, he come around and hang out, get, get high, they hanging at, uh, like, uh, like that one spot was by my house, the, uh, the bootlegger. There was another bootlegger was on, um, uh, on Rowley. Like, certain little bootlegger would be part of that, yeah, yeah. So, 
You said a bootleg about your house. You talking about the one with a tent at when y'all live across the street? Yeah. Mm -hmm. where, where everybody be hanging out mm -hmm. and gambling and stuff that over there. Yeah. That vacant lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, did he get paid every two weeks or every week? I don't know. So, but every time he got paid, you would see him. I see him every. Like when he come over and party, cause he always come home. Sometimes he be walking. Sometimes he'll walk over, uh, uh ride the bicycle. You know, uh, uh sometimes and bring him over. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, they be all you know, might drop them all over. You know, um, basically that's all it is. Yeah. Let me ask you this question also, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fast, they call you Fast sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Um, September the 4th, uh, at uh, Jarrell's birthday party. Mm -hmm. You remember that day? Yeah, I remember, yeah. You was there that, you remember being there that day? Yeah, I came with girl. What time did you get there that day? I want, uh, um, I don't know, man. But, but I, I don't know because, uh, because I was over there with my, uh, Girl, I mean, her were already were going through it, so I was like in and out, you know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of um, guys over there, you know what I'm saying? They already want to um, like run down them because you know I was uh, one time and, and I got a couple guys around, around there, you know what I'm saying? Like looking for them, so that's why I was trying to say. So at the party, uh, September 4th, what did you do? Were you in uh, Marlo? Arguing at any time? No, no, no arguments. No, no. The only thing I did was came over there, top of the tent, top of the tent, left, got something to uh, drink. I even gave him all a beer that day. I think I gave him a beer that day when I was tying up the tent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, why should me and him get into something? That's 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 what we're just trying. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Hell yeah. Uh, how many people did you say attended the party? I really can't tell you. If you had a guess. I can't tell you because uh, I was like in and out. So, right. so um, I really don't know how many. But I don't want to like no. Um, I know when I was uh, there, it wasn't like no like a a big crowd like at the club or something. There you know what I'm saying? Few people there. I don't know. I mean, um, probably like probably like about a good forty or fifty or something like that. They were playing music. The music was uh, um, yeah. pretty pretty thick that day. Pretty loud. Yeah. Y'all was eating also? No. You didn't get any eat? No. Drinking? No, I have my own drink at my house. Oh, well, I have my girl. I had them got the help from her. Yeah. And, and then uh, uh she heard somebody uh like shooting shooting and shit. Then they were talking they shooting at the house and all that shit there, so she got the hell out of there. I lost a lot of shit over there. You know what I mean? Long moors, all type of shit. I ain't had nowhere to put that stuff, you know what I mean? So I was up for day oh, four times. Correct. Okay, so myself and my partner, we, we responded out to the address today of the incident. Okay. Yes, sir. There were a lot of people there. Okay. Over, like you said, about 40 some people or more. Mm -hmm. um, we interviewed a lot of people also, too. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of witnesses say they saw you and Marlo arguing. No, no. We got to run with it, man, because I ain't even with it. Okay. We got to run with it. All them, them, uh, whatever they want to do, because nobody will do, do not even like me, so I ain't got no business to lie to you. Okay. Correct. You know, so. So they say you and Ar Marlo was arguing over a chair. A chair? Yes, sir. You know, don't argue over a chair for them. Well, I got you. plenty of chairs. You know what I mean? Yeah. If that, yeah. That's, that, that was a good friend, y'all, for, for yeah. 10 years, correct? Yeah. We want to like friends, you know. Listen, let me tell you something. It shouldn't be no problem with me involved with all this stuff. You understand? Because uh, uh, they always have problems with them guys anyway. They don't like me. They don't like me more later because we, we have a lot of things going on. So what they trying right now? But the, this is what I'm asking. Go wrong with say this. Jerry, why would this why is what I'm asking, Mr. 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 Taylor. Um, conversation between you and Marlo. That's what I let's, let's focus on that for me a few minutes. Okay. And it did a lot. And myself and my partner, we um we do have eyewitnesses that saw the incident. Okay. Uh, they saw the argument. Okay. And they saw your actions as well. Okay. Which led you here today. 
Okay. We're here because you have a, a warrant, which was signed by a judge hey. for, for first degree murder. Yes, sir. But you, people make mistakes, man. I know that you and Marla was good friends, man. No. No, Marla no, wasn't good friends. See that day. Now, shit, that day, that man was arguing with every damn body. Shit, that man even tell you. He, he, he was tell me that. Tell me that. Them, we have them, like, like I told you, he had drunk. He was built for a couple of days. You high as hell and all that damn. Yeah, that was, so I know y'all know that from the body. You know what I mean? So so it, it's uh, he, he was hitting everybody across the head. He even uh, slapped this old lady out. You know what I'm saying? I heard about that. You know what I mean? He even slapped her out. I didn't see her all that. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 she, she had a hard ass and came back, you know, like a bunch of bullshit, man, you know, right. you know, the guy, you know, he, he, he is, uh, aggressive, well, yeah, well, you know. Tell me about the chair incident. The chair, what do you mean, the that, chair? Okay, I'm going to explain, at some point that you were, you, you were sitting in the chair. Okay. And at some point you got up from the chair. Okay, let me, let me finish. the chair going up, bro. Let me finish. And at some point when you got up from your chair, Marlo sat in your chair. Everybody said, he, you know, he was drinking a little bit. You're right. Yeah, a little bit, none. Days, three or four days. So he had been up. You knew he had been up. Yeah, everybody knew Okay. That, yeah. But what was the dispute between you and him about the chair? So you came back to him, asked him to get up, asked him to get up from the chair. What you know what I'm saying? We, 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 man, everybody, man, we always ran out of mouth. You know, we talk, talk, man. You know what I mean? So, you know Jarrell? Jarrell? Yeah. Fast? Hmm? I'm sorry, you know, uh, 21? Yeah, 21, my okay. best friend, yeah. Both of them, your best friends, when you both of them told me they saw you and him arguing about the chair. Why was your best friend lying on you, sir? They said someone was arguing over no best, no, uh, no chair. So okay, why, it, it's why, so many why, chairs why, over there. I don't know. And Jarrell, tell me that. I don't know. But I wonder why would you tell me that? I'm telling you that because they said that because that'll be that's what I'm asking you. Dang, you know what I mean? That's what I'm asking you. Yeah. See, that's how people get killed like that from the information you're telling me. Well, what I'm telling you is you're right. Someone did get Yeah, Someone did get killed. Marlo got killed that day. Your best yeah. friend. Yeah, a lot and of from what they're telling me is. What the individual was telling me is that you was the one that did it. They said that you got upset because he wouldn't get out of your chair. Yeah, he was drinking. Well, it is it. They said you were drinking that day. I don't own no gun. I had no gun. Y'all don't even have nothing on me. Bought no gun. But I have no, no charge like that, like real violent cases like that. See, when I told, I, I have a, uh, you know, okay, but, you see, from me having weapons and all that stuff right there, that automatically sent me back to prison and all that shit right there. I only had one time with a weapon when I went to jail in Selma County. So, yeah, Marlo, 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 is your, Marlo is your, your friend, you know, Mr. Taylor. Why didn't you just let it go or just got another chair? Why did y'all get that upset? It's paying a chair. Why should I get mad at a man over a chair? That's what I'm asking you. I'll just leave it alone. Okay, man. why would most people... No, you're Mr. trying Taylor. to put some shit on me. Mr. Taylor, no. Mr. Taylor, I don't play games and my partner don't play games. Yeah. I've been doing this for a long time. I, 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 yeah, I, I was up a deal today and bringing you up here and playing games with you. Yeah. Not one of the top things. Yeah, right. Life. Right. So, when I tell you that this is a serious matter... I know it is. Uh, Marlo Mom was crying. Uh, we looked at his kid's face. Right. And they were crying because of the death of their father. Right. And myself and my partner, we looked at them, we asked them, you know what they asked me? Right. They told me, they said, uh, Chris and him was good friends. Just ask them, why did he hurt my dad? I ain't did nothing, man. I'm going to leave this alone. Let me, let, me, no. let, me, let, me say, let me tell you what the kids No, oh, man. Come on, man. You trying to put a murder on me, bro? Come on. Chris. No, uh, no, Chris. no, no. No, uh -huh. he said, no. He asked me no. to ask you, why did why you, why did you? Why don't you kill a man over a chair for a man? That's a good question, Mr. Chris. That part, that part, Mr. no. Do you, no. Remember, do, you, do you remember a conversation you called right. his brother? I don't know his brother. Anthony? I don't know his brother. Okay. 
But I don't know his brother at all. Why you just why you just don't walk away, man? What you mean why you just walk away? That's what I'm asking you. Because you got multiple people telling me that y'all was arguing to the point, man, where it went physical. And you kept man, telling him. Listen, if, if it were, oh, listen, let me tell you something. If it were multiple people talking about me, they're a damn lie. Why would they, why, what were you talking about? about, 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 about I have problems on the street. Yes, sir. Every day I have problems on the street. That's why you don't see me in drugs no more, like selling drugs. Cause you look at my seat. I don't see a drug no more. I don't be getting in trouble no more. Mr. Chris, no, not. let's stay focused on this. Let's leave that alone. Let's stay on Marlo. No, I'm not dealing with Marlo because Marlo ain't got nothing to do with me. What did you hear happen? I'm, I'm not taking on that Marlo got killed. Who killed him? Understand me? I don't know. Well, I'm telling you what no, I heard. My investigation no. leads me to believe based on multiple witnesses. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm saying this. Well, I'm with it, bro. Multiple witnesses. I can't. No, I, I, take that I got right. multiple eyewitnesses that say you got upset up over this here. Okay. Shot and killed your best friend. Ain't hey, that some shit. And when I talked to his kids and his mother, I heard you. they asked me to ask you, why did you kill their father? So I, okay. as, as a man, man, me. man to man, I'm asking you. It ain't me. I know, if people make mistakes, let's, man. Uh, let's do it this way. You were over at the party. Well, well, at the, I, at the, it, uh, look, look, I stay, well, I stay right here, okay? I used to, like, go play domino every day. We talk about that. Every day. Uh, we talk about that. I have went through, yeah. Okay. Did y'all have went through? Did you have any contact? I don't have anything with him with no bullshit. Did you have any contact with Marlon? No. No, you didn't even see him then? I see him there. What was he doing? I gave him a beer, you remember? Okay, so yeah. what are you doing? Uh, walking around, hitting everybody across the head, hugging up everybody, and everybody talking about coronavirus. I hear y'all put on your masks and everything. That's it. That's it. You know what I mean? Now, uh, are you talking about all this here? You talking about murder and all that? Come on, man. You talking about first degree murder? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, now, this shit all over. Well, sorry, my red don't got kicked out the damn house. Okay, what did you hear happen to your baby? Man, this shit going on. He got murdered. Okay. You know what I mean? What's in he? What's in you, man? Why didn't y'all just swatch it like butt buddies, man? Yeah. Let it go. I'm going to leave this alone. Now, because some, some that you on right now trying to put some on me, I'm not with it. Mr. No. Taylor, no. Mr. Taylor, no. I, wouldn't, no. I wouldn't bring you up here. Just because I just because sir. I'm done with it. Just because I would not bring you up here, Mr. Taylor. Just because Look, we got facts, we got multiple witnesses. Then you want me talking to me? I have to talk right to now because you know why his son asked me to ask you. I don't know what you're talking about. His mother asked. I ain't murdered nobody, man. His mother asked me before the funeral to That's ask him, "Why did you kill their son?" The daughter then turned around and asked me, "Would you ask Mr. Chris why did he kill my dad?" I didn't kill him. That's it. I didn't kill him. Oh, a chair, Mr. Smith? A chair. Oh, Mr. Taylor? A chair. Were you there? Chair. Were you there? Chair. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Where were you? Where were you guys shot? Shit. Bible, uh, um, I don't know when he got shot, so I can't tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I did run out of beer and all that shit. That's so maybe I don't have no alibi for all that damn shit. Cause, see, nobody else don't have no alibi. If you, you were at the party, party, so you would have heard, heard the gunshot. Did you I went it? through the party, sir. Listen, that's what I told you when we first started talking. You know what I mean? I did not have plenty of beer. I don't know about no, no, uh, the only thing that I know is. Um, it, it, it was like nighttime. It, it was cops every day on where. You know what I'm saying? So they can't even go back up in there. Did you give a statement? I didn't even go back up in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, I was um. Uh, you got to run to a friend's house. Friend? No. Friend? I got a lot of friends. Kevin Tatum. Who? Mr. Tatum. Kevin Tatum. I don't know Kevin Tatum. You remember jumping that back fence, leaving? You saw OPD coming in that area that night? Kill him, take him. Yes, sir. What the hell is that? You're jumping a fan. Yes, sir. What are you talking about? I'm just, I'm just asking you, sir. Do you recall that? He was over a friend's house. Y'all sitting in the backyard. OPD drives up and you jumped the fence and, and ran away. Oh. 
same night of the Halloween, same night of the shooting, same night you shot uh, Marlo, after you shot Marlo. It was over there off of uh, Indiana Street. Oh yeah, I did Jones Pitts that damn night. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. To yeah, yeah. You remember talking to a dude and you told him, man, I fucked up. Yeah. Hey, no. What the hell is going on right here? Mr. 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 Yeah, Mr. No, listen. Listen, I, 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 I remember that night. That night when uh, uh, people make mistakes. Mr. Mr. Taylor. People make mistakes. I'm trying to think who was all out there. But, you know what I mean? But I don't talk no damn about, about I don't fucked up. We got no. See what I'm all uh, run for. Exactly what I'm asking. Yeah, exactly. Listen. People make mistakes in life, man. Yeah. Marlo was a good one. From what I hear, you and Marlo had never had any, any arguments in the past. Yeah. He would drink, get on powder sometimes, but pretty much sometimes he never want he never wanted to hurt you. He never did anything to hurt you. Yeah. Good guy, good yeah. friend of yours, man. For over ten years, from what I got. Why would somebody want to hurt him? Why would you hurt him? Why would you yeah. have to kill him, kill him for? I didn't hurt him. Why don't you shoot him in the head, man? I didn't hurt him. I didn't hurt him. Why would you shoot him in the head in all places, man? I didn't hurt him. His mom looked at me and said, man, would you please ask Mr. Chris why he, why she, why he hurt my son? I didn't hurt him. Then his son turned around and said, well, he was crying, man, hard down crying. I said, why you, why you kill my daddy? My daddy, my daddy I, I, I loved my daddy. Why you did it to my daddy? He got a daughter now, who's about to get married. This time, man. He ain't going to be the heat. ain't going to be the walker down the aisle now because you killed the dead and you shot him in the head that day. Oh, shit, man. Chill, yeah. No, I don't say, oh, what's up? Why you putting a chair in my hand? Oh, what's shit. That's a good question. Why I'm wondering over the man? It ain't, Did he make you that mad because you trying to hear children? I don't know about no damn chair. I don't even know, man. Listen, but I ain't never touched nobody over a chill. But you remember Marlo? I ain't with, never slapped nobody over a chill. Do you remember chill. Arnold with Marlo that night? See, me and Marlo always say shit. No, everybody say shit. So you remember, you remember Jarrell trying to break y'all up? Yeah, I know. You remember Plus trying to break y'all up? No. You remember Plus? I know Plus, the Haitian boy. The Haitian boy. Yeah. Told me, y'all, you know, he's trying to break y'all up. Oh, Jarrell said he tried to try to break you up too. Okay. A lot of people say, man, y'all, y'all was there, y'all was face to face, man, arguing. People say, did I get? I got. I witnessed. They saw you walk across the street. How much you had to drink that day? I was drinking. Uh, I can't even see. Twelve packs. Probably twelve packs. Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. So, what kind of liquor? They all types of people. Oh, so, um, um, damn, whatever. You ain't coke? No. Smoke ain't we? No. Oh, I used to get on coke while I was open. What, about three or four months ago? I've been stopped doing that. About four months ago, you stopped doing coke? <laughs> yeah, I got on coke the last time I here went to jail and shit. Because uh, uh, me and my girl, we had got an argument. Then the cops had came one time, talked to us, yeah. and they came back and conversated. Then when the last one came, came up, let's go ahead and take him to jail. Cause we were just out there drinking and just arguing. So they said they're taking him to jail. But the cops let her out. Do you, so you remember that night? Like I, let me say this. Say this. Uh-huh. You remember saying, get the fuck out of my face? Then there was another person was saying, fuck you, fuck you. You saying, get the fuck out of my face. The DJ comes was telling y'all to calm down. DJ was there too. Calm down, y'all calm down. You remember that? Get the fuck out of my face. You told him get the fuck out of my face. Clear as day. Yep. Clear as day. Clear as day, man. From what I heard, you can't even sleep at night time, man. This thing bothering you when you wake up out of your sleep. 
That's not what you want. Your girl told me you've been jumping up out of your sleep, man. You just, it bothered you so much, Mr. Taylor, that you oh, can't even rest it. Why would your girlfriend have on you, man? Say you jump out of your sleep, you can't even sleep at night trying to not I can't change my shit like that, bro. I mean, I don't know you, man. I don't know your lady, but why would she lie on you? Why would she lie on you? I don't know. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Get the fuck out of my face. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Wow. One gunshot. You shoot this man in the head over a gun, man. No, you sit off a damn chair. Man, this man, man over a chair, man. You sit him in the head with a gun over a chair, dude. Hey, man. Come on, man. How you, how you been sleep at night time like that, man? I see why you, you wake up out of your sleep, man. Mm -hmm. if, if that don't bother you that your best friend, man, got killed? Hey, listen, I ain't, I ain't got nobody over no chair. You know what I'm saying, man? I ain't killed nobody over no chair. I ain't killed nobody. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Straight up. According to multiple witnesses on the scene, Mr. Mr. Taylor. They saw, hold on, let me say this. I could get a bunch of people together. You ain't got it. And pay them to say whatever. I ain't paid them. Call them dope heads and drug heads and all that stuff. Bring them on. Mr. Taylor. Bring them on. Everybody. Bring them on. Your Bring them on. Your best, best friend, your best friend, Jarrell, told me that he heard y'all arguing. Plus, say he saw the argument. There's most of the people that they saw y'all arguing. Mm -hmm. Over oh, chair, man. You know, no damn chair. No over no damn chill. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't want no chill. What was it on? I don't know. See, somebody, a damn, um, a, a damn chair, but I would not jump on nobody over no chair. Uh, what, what? You know what I'm talking about? Over in, 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 somebody mess with me about anything, you know what I'm talking about? We're going we to talk about it or you want to take it down. You know what I'm talking about? want to be over no damn See, uh, see, for me to do something to somebody, I really got to be threatened. They got to have a, a weapon or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then I started getting... Were you uh, afraid that night? Were you scared? Uh, if uh, Marlo had some nice, pretty big size, he's a little bit bigger than you. Yeah, Marlo's a big dude. Were you afraid of him? Nah, when y'all was uh, face to face, are you? I don't knock that plenty of niggas around now. Did you knock him plenty out? Plenty of Did you knock him out? No. Thing? No. Why should I? Because y'all was arguing over the chair, that's why. I'm trying to figure out. Did you not get in the chair, man? Well, I'm over no chair. He shot him in the face. I wonder why you keep on saying this and saying that. Because I'm trying to understand. Oh, no. Because you know why? You know why, Mr. 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 Taylor? I promised his mother and his daughter and their man's son that I will ask you these questions. They asked me to ask you these questions. Well, you need to find who they are. Well, I think bro. we're talking to the Straight person. Up. I, I really firmly believe. Well, they feel like it. You are the person okay. that took. The life of that man's mother, and two kids, his daughter and his son, and they asked me to ask you these questions. So I'm asking you. I'm not the man. Why did you kill that man over here? I'm not the man. You understand know what I'm saying? I'm not the man. So leave it alone, man. No. We have multiple witnesses. Our witnesses. Yeah, that saw you. It ain't now on. It ain't now on. We're not to ask them do they like. But it's my. I think they're just trying to do the right thing. No, it ain't no right thing. No, I allow Chris. No. Allow Marlon no. to rest in peace. Okay. And then, then it, 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 if it is like what you say, what is you like? know, like what you say. Talking about I did something. I did that. I, I killed somebody. So, so, so why is it right now? Well, I don't understand the question. Repeat it again for me. See, if, if you're saying that there's something I did and all your witnesses and all that there and told you, so why is you coming to me right now? So what time of the month it is? It, 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 uh, you know why? It's been a couple months or something. I don't know how long I'm going to answer that question. You had left your house. We couldn't find you. Right. And you had left your house. We couldn't find you. You ain't been going around. I've been gone from there. You ain't been going to work. Nobody, none of you, none of the people that you hung around, you moved out of your house. You been moved out of the house. You moved out the next day. No, I did. She moved out because they shot at the house. No one shot at the house. Somebody shot. Listen, somebody had shot. Somebody shot up in the damn air. That's why. That's not what she just shot by the damn house. That's not what she told us. That's again. She ain't had no reason to lie to me. That's why she had. Y'all left. Y'all left. 
Because so she thought she thought that the family was gonna retaliate because they brought the guy kids. That's why y'all left that house. No, right, she left her now. Well you left too. Well, I hope man out of the house. You was there you was living one of the day you told us you was there. You lived across the street. I said I went to the house. You lived over there with your lady. That's where you got arrested at. You don't know if I got arrested at or what? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. Mr. Smith. Mr. Taylor, Mr. Taylor, 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 let me ask you this. Now, he did it himself, I guess. You think he shot himself? <laughs> you think Marlo shot himself? Yeah. I guess. Well, who was arguing? Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, Get no. the fuck out of my face. Whoa, whoa. On video surveillance. Yeah. The guy? Yeah. One gun, sir. Yeah, this <laughs> Don't make stuff like this up, Mr. Mr. Taylor. Mm -hmm. I won't lie to you, man. Hey, listen, you, you said, you said, I'll say you the part out of my face. I, I just said, I heard, I heard a voice that was saying, get the fuck out of my face. No, you said that, that I'm, I'm saying, that was you saying. You said, I'm, I'm saying, get the fuck out of my face, get the fuck out of my face. Did I pull the shoes from out Saying I got eyewitness say you shot. I got most eyewitness to say you shot. Again, Come on, man, I'm ready to go to court. We're gonna go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Definitely gonna go. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm ready. 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 I'm just curious, what do you think should have happened to the person that shot and killed Marlon? Marlon, right? I don't know. What do you think should have happened to that person? That was your own. That's your friend of 10 years, right? I'm done talking, man. Let me ask you that. What is your I'm done talking, to that man. You got a man. What do you think should have happened to that person? I'm done talking. Ask the last question for a moment. We can get out of here. I'm done talking. What do you think should have happened to the person that shot and killed Marlon? I don't know. Shot him in the face. I think it was on the left or right side of the face. I don't know. Left him on the ground, didn't even help him up. Didn't even call 911 to help him. Oh, on him. Friend of 10 years, y'all drunk together. He gave you a beer, bought you beers, bought him oh, beers. Yeah. Oh, you had gave him a beer that I, night. I did all the giving around them. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you cared enough that you gave him a beer that night before you shot him? I ain't shot nobody. What's up, Bill? You're so I like you, though. I respect you also too, but I respect you more if you just come off the truth on this one, sir. I'm ready to go, man. Whatever you gonna do, man. Yes, sir. I call yeah, people, I call man. the people. Get a lawyer and all that. Hey y'all, uh, you got some bull crap on me. Good luck to you, Mr. Ted. Hey, listen. If if this investigation was on any other half, someone that had happened to you, sir, would be doing the same thing. Our goal is just to find out the truth what happened to Mr. Brian. Your friend Marlowe. Okay, of ten years. Yeah. All right. Do so you swear in the front that everything you have told myself and my partner is true and accurate to the best of your ability? Yeah, let's go. Man. Can you raise your right hand for me? Let's go. Do you swear in the front that everything, let's you, go. Told, that let's everything go. you told me and my partner is true? I'm trying to close out the interview, sir. I close out. I close out. So everything you told me was true and accurate to the best of your ability. I need a lawyer. You have a nice day. That's it, man. Go. Be safe, boss. Good luck to you, sir. I ain't never come in. Chris Taylor was sentenced to 20 years in prison for the murder of his so-called friend.